Have you ever wanted to use StackMat with CS Timer? If you have, I bet you've experienced the following problems. You watched a video about practicing at home like a competition, and instead of typing each time manually, you wanted to use your stack mat. You get your cable for the stack mat, you plug it into the computer, you switch the input, and as soon as you go to start, it doesn't work. You continue trying to make it work, but it's just not going. Rage starts to build until you finally crack. Wait! Okay, maybe not everyone goes to throw their stack mat after not getting it to work, but it was pretty frustrating to me. I'm going to show you guys how to get this working in no time at all. I hope you guys enjoyed that little skit. I just wanted to try something kind of funny with this little video, but it is really frustrating to get CS Timer to work. I know a lot of people have been struggling with this for years, and there was a long period where I just didn't use a stack mat because I couldn't get it to work, especially on a laptop. I didn't have a desktop. Uh, if you do have a desktop, it's extremely easy to get it working on a desktop. It's mostly the laptops when people start having problems. So I've already got my stack mat plugged in. If you have a desktop, you want to plug it into the pink port that looks just like a normal uh, 3.5 millimeter like headphone jack but find the pink one oftentimes desktops will have one on the front and back on my desktop I have it on the front so just make sure it's plugged into that and the first thing that you need to do and the biggest thing that gets messed up is you have to go to the secure version of cstimer.net so if I go to the normal one first cstimer.net, we're gonna go ahead and enter that. I'm doing this in incognito mode as well, just so that everything is fresh, because I've already done this a bunch in uh, Chrome, so being in incognito mode kind of resets all of that. So if you go to option, and then timer, and then change it to stack mat, you'll notice that I get no prompt about my microphone. Uh, it doesn't ask me, do you want to allow CS Timer to use your microphone or anything? And this is a big problem that a lot of people run into. And if you notice up here, this says not secure. So if we go ahead and click that and then site settings, you can see that it's blocking the access to my microphone because the website isn't secure. If you just let every website have access to your microphone, that definitely would not be a good thing. So Chrome is just going and trying to protect you here. So if we go back and now we go to HTTPS colon slash slash cstimer.net, this is the secure version of cstimer.net. You can see up in the top left here, it says secure. So if we go ahead and click the gear icon, timer, and then change it to stack mat, you can immediately see that Chrome is now asking if I want to use my microphone because we're on the secure version. If for whatever reason you did not get that prompt, you can click here and then let it use your microphone. But most of the time, I would say 90% of the time, if you're on the correct version of CS Timer, it's going to ask you with that prompt. I've tried this on a bunch of different OSs and different computers and every single time it has asked me. And I would recommend using Chrome because I think it's the easiest. I'll show you how to do it in Firefox, but I think Chrome is the easiest to get uh, going with. And also you can tell that Chrome is using uh, your microphone if you see this red little icon up here. If you see that, you know that CS Timer is using your microphone. So I have my stack mat off, which is why you see these lines, it's not receiving any input. But if I turn this on, it immediately starts using my stack mat. And now we're up and running. There shouldn't be anything else you have to do. Desktop is the simplest one to get it set up on. Go ahead and do it again. There is a little bit of input lag uh, from when I start and stop. You can see there's a tiny little bit of a delay, but the time is still correct. It says 117 up there and 117 here. So it's not doing anything wrong. It's just that there's a bit of a delay between that, um, but still definitely much better than typing your times manually. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this on laptops. All right, so now we're on my MacBook Pro here. We're on the secure version of cstimer.net and all you really need is this little USB adapter to get it to work on these new laptops that have the mixed headphone and microphone inputs. So with a lot of these computers, having them mixed for whatever reason, CS Timer doesn't wanna work when you plug the 
cable in here, so you need one of these, and it's the pink slot that is the microphone input. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my laptop, and I'll show you how to get it working. So we've got that plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my cable to it. So once I've got my cable plugged in, I will go ahead and go and switch this to stack mat input. And it's asking me now with the prompt if I want to allow it to use my microphone. So I'm gonna tell it yes. And then from here, it probably is not gonna work right away, at least on a Mac. So if I go ahead and try, it's not working. And you can generally tell it's not working if you get this uh, these lines here. So the reason for that is you need to go to system preferences on your Mac and then go to sound. And then from here, you're gonna see something that says internal microphone and USB audio device. Uh, the internal microphone is just the uh, microphone that's on the computer. You don't want it to use that. You want it to use the USB audio device. And with the specific one that I bought, and I'll link in the description, it doesn't need any drivers. It just works right out of the box. So if we go ahead and switch this to USB audio device, it should work. And if I turn this off, you'll see that the signal for the input level, there's nothing. But when I turn the stack mat on, you can see it moving. So if you see the bars moving with the stack mat on, you should it should be working. So right here, we still have the symbols. Oftentimes you just need to refresh. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And now we see the zeros. So if I try, now it's working. So just make sure once you've allowed microphone access that you go into your system preferences, sound, and then go to input. There's three uh, panels. There's sound effects, output, and input. Input is the one you want, and then USB audio device. So that's all you really need to do to get it working on these mixed uh, headphone port computers. You just need this little USB adapter, and then from there, it should work. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this on Windows. All right, so now we're on Windows 7 on my MacBook Pro. I just have it dual booted. All you're gonna do is the same thing. Go to your timer and then change it to stack mat. And it's asking me again if it wants me to allow to use my microphone. And in probably 90 percent of the time, if you're using the secure version of CS Timer, it should be asking you. But if not, you know what to do from here. And then I've got my stack mat already plugged into it. So let's go ahead and see if it works. It's not working as you can see. So the one thing that I've noticed, at least with Windows 7, is that you need to go down to your dock and then right click on the speaker icon, go to recording devices. And then from here, you can see it's using my default microphone on my MacBook Pro again. This is the equivalent of changing the sound settings on uh, Mac OS, but for Windows. So we're gonna go up here and select this and click enable, and then make sure you have the green checkbox on it. And then we'll go ahead and refresh CS timer. And now it should work. Yep, and now it's working just fine. So the trick for laptops is you really just need this cheap little USB audio adapter. Uh, it works great, and from there you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, so now we're on the secured version of CS Timer in Firefox, so we're gonna go ahead, click the gear icon, change it to stack mat, and you can see that uh, Firefox is already asking me what microphone I wanna use. So for Chrome, it seems to just know exactly which microphone it should be using. It immediately just picked up my stack mat. With Firefox here, it's asking me which one I wanna use, and it's not the blue snowball, that's not my stack mat. So you need to tell it which port it is plugged into. So on my desktop, it's the microphone pink port in the front. So you're gonna to need to know which one you have. I have a lot of different software that is also recognized as audio input, but the one that I want is microphone pink front. And then I'm gonna say remember this decision so that I don't have to ask it all the time. After I do that, it should just work. And there you go, now it's working. If it doesn't immediately work, sometimes you just need to refresh. But other than that, there shouldn't be anything else you need to do. So I hope this helped you guys out. I know for a long, long time, I haven't been able to get CS Timer to work. And now that I've been wanting to use a stack mat again, I got really curious about why it was that it didn't work or why it worked for some people and not other people. And I think a lot of that had to do with people couldn't figure out how to allow the web browser to use their microphone access or on a laptop, you obviously need the USB audio device. 
So yeah, that's all there is to it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. If you aren't already subscribed, I do a lot of tutorials like this, so go ahead and click that if you are interested in more tutorials, and I will see you guys later.